How long have you been uh, writing raps? How long have you been a rapper? Can you hear me? Man, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I hear you. Um, I've been rapping since I was 10, honestly. I wow, okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, I've been I've been rapping since I was ten years old. That's the earliest I can remember. My, oh, okay. uh, my my uncle. Yeah, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Uh My uncle, he taught me. Uh, Jim Knight. He's a he's a Christian rapper, um, and he's based out here in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Um, hmm. He's still at it to this day. Um, wow. He's a student of the music. He loves all forms of hip hop. He was freaking out over the KRS One versus uh, Big Daddy Kane last week. <laughs> yeah, that was classic. That he was, was like, nice. oh, this is amazing. Yeah, that was a great versus. <laughs> I loved how they was freestyling in between as well too. That's how I learned too. That's the that's the type of culture that I learned from. You know, it's more polished now. They yeah. don't really do that as much anymore. Right, no, not at all. Not at all. Do you have any uh music online? Or yeah. Um so I have the the so Light Warriors. Um I I can send you the links after. Um Light Warriors oh. is the band that I'm in. Um I'm the percussion player and also the rapper. Um we are recording a new album. Right now we have a the, the new hit called One that's been doing very well um over forty thousand streams i'm very happy about this um it keeps going and going and we just did a podcast interview on the big radio um so it's blessings it's blessings and i also have my own project which is a more of a um in the basement type of music that i released a uh, years ago but then i re-released it um it's it's under my actual name jamar jabari Called Death of the Imposter. That's a three song EP. And it's on all platforms as well, too. Um, if you get it off of Bandcamp, I, I'm, I'm selling it for $3 off of Bandcamp. And they, that, wow. that, that's easier to go okay. right to me because, you know, Spotify is just out here just giving people pennies right now. <laughs> right. So you say Bandcamp, they can buy it and download it directly from me? Yep, yep. Jamar Jabari yeah, that, band camp. Yeah, that sounds a lot better because of the streams. And they can tell you anything. Right. <laughs> you would think you'd get some money after 40,000 streams. Like. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Do you have any other uh things that you're working on? Any upcoming projects? Yep. Um, so yeah, the Jabari podcast is my, my baby right now. I'm working on getting the equipment together to, to now start doing in-person interviews and stuff like that as well. Wow, as the okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm going to try out this equipment that I'm about to do, see how the setup is and stuff like that. Um, more music's coming. A lot of music is coming. Album's about to get recorded and done we're already halfway there um i have another ep that i'm going to be working on and that's going to be more of a nuanced uh hip-hop genre um instead of just being like a traditional it's going to have afro latin rhythms in there it's going to have afro beat rhythms in there it's going to it's going to be a very interesting project that i'm going to work on um also i'm going to add some some native american uh some uh sounds in there to like show more respect to my indigenous side. Um, and yeah, uh, if you ever got, if anybody's ever in New Haven, I throw open mics, I throw um, art galleries, shouts out to Art Space. Um, my, my, I want to plug that in. That's another great spot to go to if you ever go to New Haven. I'm not a part of it, but my homie Dine, they run that and it's awesome. They be having so much talent. And it's all black brand. Um, it's such a good vibe. No nonsense, no dramas going on. Everybody's always thinking that we're going to be shooting up or something like that. There's a lot of good black 
of bits that are in New Haven. We're taking over New Haven. Yell want to bring in all these white folks. I'm sorry. They're going to have to get with the culture. <laughs> you got to get with the culture. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely, man. It's definitely been an honor to have you on the show. We almost at 30 minutes in. Right. Um, is, is, is there any last thing you want to leave the viewers with? Also, you know, uh, give them your contact info one more time. Yep. I'm at uh, Jabari VOC Podcast. Um, and you can check out my band called, well, our band called Light Warriors. Um, and we have like three albums. I know y'all going to enjoy that music. It's a fusion band. We have a mixture of hard rock, reggae, a lot of, a, a good mixture of some Afro tunes as well, too. Um, it's a really great band. Shout out to Eric Rabaska. He's he's the mastermind behind all that. So definitely check out Light Warriors. Um, and definitely check out my EP, uh, Death of the Imposter, uh, Jamar Jabari. On all platforms, but Bandcamp is the main one that I want to want to bring out to everybody. All right, all right. Most definitely. All right, family. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's been another episode of Taye Speaks. Until next time, family. Peace.